This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get a video I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. And then it gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trader decisions. Listen, there was a donor who donated $100,000 to Rudy, Rudy Giuliani's defense fund. Okay? But the thing about this, this donor is that they were involved in, 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 in some online scam. And it seems like they, well, well, not they seems like they did. They're being sued. They're being sued because the people who were scammed by this donor, they want to claw back or unwind the $100,000 given to Giuliani because they say that this scammer used funds he scammed from them to donate to Rudy Giuliani. And I know you guys are saying, what does this have to do with, with the stock market. This is the same game plan that FTX was using. They involved in criminal fraudulent activity. They involved themselves in scams. They robbed retail investors and pension funds. And then they take some of their scam money, donated to politicians, hoping that when or if Justice comes knocking. They could depend on these politicians to help them. Okay? And they should claw back that money from Rudy Giuliani's fund. I am so sick and tired of these criminals taking advantage of retail investors and pension funds and then taking a part of their ill-gotten gains and giving it to the SEC or DTCC or FINRA or donating it, donating it to politicians in order to curry favor with these agencies or curry favor with these politicians, hoping that when they get caught with their hand in the cookie jar, they don't face any real consequences. And that's the bottom line. They rob retail investors. They take part of what they make. They donate it to the politicians or they give cuts to the SEC, the FINRA, DTCC, other government agency. And the reason that they do that is to curry favor, hoping that if they get caught, they won't be treated so harshly. So in my opinion, these <laughs> investors who are suing Rudy Giuliani should claw back every single cent. And anybody else who lost money because of the illegal actions of these bad actors, she be, should be able to claw back or unwind every single cent that they gave to the politicians, every single cent that they gave to SEC, DTCC, FINRA, and the other government agencies. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that these bad actors deliberately share their profits with these politicians and with the agencies in order to curry favor with them in case they get caught. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.